I'm Ed Salad and I saw Uncle Buck. It is written and directed by John Hudges. And if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. This is requested by a Patreon. If you'd like a fast track of blue review, patreon.com slash ASU presents. On with the review. First things first, something about the photography of this film, how it's filmed, how it's shot, the composition, it feels 80s. It just feels like a normal 80s movie. I feel like the strength of this movie lies within the writing, not so much how it is shot, although there are some beautiful shots in this movie. Like, I especially like the shot where they're at night, right? The night shots are pretty cool because it's a creative use of lighting to get the this place all lit up. And it's nice and I'm cold and I'm shivering, which is why I'm talking like this, just so you know, it's really cold. You think Arizona would be warm in the November, but actually it's not. But we're following a nuclear family. We got the Russells. We got the mother, we got the father, and then we got the rebellious teenage daughter, and then we got two younger children, right? We got an eight-year-old who's a boy, and a six-year-old who is a girl. And that's who's in this family. The mother's father, I think her name is Cindy. Cindy's father gets a heart attack, and so they have to go to Indianapolis, if I remember the city correctly. They have to just go. They have to go, and they're trying to figure out who's going to take care of the kids? Who's going to babysit them? And they're calling their neighbor, their neighbor's gone. They're calling another neighbor, that neighbor's gone. And they only have one more option. One more option. They have to call Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck though, he's a little bit of an irresponsible guy. He just kind of likes to live his life, chill, smoke his cigars, drink an alcohol. Do you have an Uncle Buck in your life? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, Uncle Buck is now tasked to take care of these children while the parents are gone. Immediately, what I like is Tia is the oldest daughter, 15 year old rebellious daughter. She doesn't get along with her mom and she doesn't get along with Uncle Buck immediately. However, the young kids love him and he loves the young kids. He's treating them right. He's listening to them like they're adults. And I really like that. I've had experience with parents talking to their children like they're just dummies. I feel like some children are smarter than a lot of adults, in my opinion. But Uncle Buck is talking to them like you would an adult, like a young adult. Like asking them why, why do you think this, why do you think that? They're like, I don't know. He's like, well, you ever considered this? They're like, oh, okay. That makes sense. Hey, that's cool. Thank you, Uncle Buck. You taught me something, right? I can't think of anything specific in the movie about this, but it's kind of like the general vibe of how he talks to these younger children. However, he's got a feud with Tia, and it's freaking Tia, man. Uncle Buck has a lady friend that he likes to call, but you know what's interesting about the relationship? He keeps pushing her away, and she kind of wants to be in more of a stable relationship. And he's like, I just want to be free, man. I just want to be so free. And he's calling her from the house phone and frickin' Tia. You know what Tia does? She ends up calling her and being like, hey, by the way, uh, he's sleeping with another woman, by the way. I'm like, just ruining this guy's relationship for no reason? You're a terrible person. Why would you do that? Oh, because teenage angst? Oh, because you think I'm the only person with angst in the world. Frickin' teenagers, man. I hate teenagers. They all think they're all unique, all important, but they're not. Everybody's going through the same struggle. Teenagers is, are just now figuring out that they have some sort of struggles in their life and they're being all edgy and destructive to everyone around them. Freaking teenagers. I feel like teenagers do most of the crimes in young adults because it's, it's, it's all that youthful anger, youthful rage. I'm like, bro, everybody has that rage. Come on, Tia, why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta destroy this man's relationship? That happens, she ghosts him. Also, it's interesting, there is a scene, there's very implied sexual things going on, but it's just him messing with the washer. That chick that Tia was talking to, trying to ru ruin Uncle Bucks and this chick's relationship, she walks into the house and he's saying things in a very sexual manner about the washing machine, or it could be interpreted that. But he's just trying to get the washing machine to work. She walks in and he's like, 
hi. And she's like, Ian, you're with another chick. Where is she? He's like, I'm just dealing with the washing machine. Oh my goodness. Can't you believe it? This washing machine won't work. It's time for me to put all the clothes in the oven and the dishwasher. So this is interesting. Also, we got Tia's trying to hang out with her boyfriend. Uncle Buck's like, that's not a good guy. And she's like, screw you, Uncle Buck. But luckily, Uncle Buck is looking out for her. Uncle Buck follows her and her boyfriend in the night. And her boyfriend is trying to force sex on her. And she's like, I don't want to. And he's like, oh, but come on, you'll like it. I'm like, this guy's a scumbag, clearly. I think they're both terrible people, but this guy's more of a scumbag. And Tia is kind of lost and confused. And so as soon as Uncle Buck crashes in the place, he's like, come on, let's go, Tia. And Tia's like, oh my goodness, Uncle Buck, you're amazing. I can't believe it. I didn't think that you were cool, but you're cool now. Thank you, guy. And then the parents come home and all the children scream and shout and let it all out about how they love Uncle Buck. And I love Uncle Buck, too. He has a strong character. I think I'm more like Uncle Buck than the parents is. I understand what feelings Tia is going through, what she's going through. I was also an angsty teenager about 10 years ago. I just gotta say, Tia, it's okay. Just, you'll, you'll be fine. I like it. It's a good movie. If you haven't seen Uncle Buck, you should. John Candy's Uncle Buck. If you haven't figured that out by now, now you should. You should watch it if you like John Candy. So I gotta give this film. It's a solid, hmm, it's a seven out of 10. If you like this, if you watch another one, the platform will like set. 20 dollar dinos on patreon.com slash AA Super Sets. One movie review per one month. Go to Sleek Tree, support the daily grindiness of all the daily movies, so go here. And until next time, it's out, saw. I'll see you later. My sacrutons and bacon bits. Oh boy, I hope there's no steaks. <laughs>